We're live. So we are talking about acne, acne marks and scars. And doctor, now we would like to understand how to get rid of those acne marks or scars. Many a time, you know, uh, people, despite knowing that pricking or squeezing the acne is not a good idea, but uh, it leaves these marks and these marks are like forever. So please tell us how to prevent these acne marks and scars. Yeah, as you rightly said, most of the aggravation of the marks and scars is because the patient himself or herself picks and squeezes it. So, right. so uh, once they come to you, uh, we have to counsel you properly that this is going to damage your skin and it is going to leave more marks than what is necessary. So uh, many times it becomes self-evident uh, uh, when the patient comes, I come to know that he has a So that is the first thing I ask them. And they, if they don't say yes, uh, whoever they have come with will say that yes, it, it touches it a lot. So you have to consciously avoid it because subconsciously also sometimes your hands goes over there and starts playing with that acne. So wo jhan ke jhan ke usko avoid karna hai to uh, prevent any further damage to the marks, to, 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 to the acne. So, usko prevent kaisa karna hai? We prevent aisa karna hai ki jab bhi acne aate, you treat it faster, earlier. So, usse jitna jaldi aapka acne control mein aega, inflammation jitna sujan jitna jaldi kam hooga, utna jaldi uh, scars or marks uh, nahi hooga aur wo recover ho jayega. So that is one thing, and you have to use a proper, uh, consult a proper dermatologist and see that. The other thing is that once you have, some have a genetic tendency, like my parents ko have scars, if you know that my mother or father has scars, then uh, you have more tendency of getting scars that is genetically determined. And then you have to be much more conscious about the treatment and do it more aggressively. Once you control your acne, it can always recur. So then you have to be careful to, uh, uh, with the concert of your dermat, you have to uh, make a skin routine in which you uh, take care of it properly for a long time. And whenever in between you get a few acne, you have proper medicines to apply that even if you don't have time to concert. So that routine you have to make. And once your acne uh, improves, so if your acne improves, your pimples settle, your marks at that time you have to go for procedures immediately because first two three months me agar treat kiya, to fir acha result aata hai. Because that time the scars are healing. After three months, it be once uh, the redness cell ki normal skin color ka us scars ho gaye, so then it becomes more difficult. You have to go for stronger lasers and more number of sessions. Still, you get a bit lesser result. So, uh, fresh acne scars treatment kar lena hai. Wait nahi karna hai ki bhai haa, mein chadi ke time karun hai. Uh, us time nahi karna hai. You do it in teenage when just acne have settled down. That time you take care of your skin. Otherwise, uh, at the time of marriage, everybody wakes up ki abhi to mujhe ye kitta bhi paisa lo, mujhe thik kar do. That is not possible. So, when it is an early proper stage, that time you have to treat it. Exactly. So the bottom line is ki ek to haath nahi lagana hai, acne pe prick nahi karna hai, squeeze nahi karna hai. Secondly, jitna jaldi ho sake hume apne acne ko treat karna hai and thirdly, agar marks and scars hai, to jitni jaldi ho sake unke treatment ke liye jana hai. Doctor, um, diet ko leke bhi bohat kuch kaha jata hai. Is it real that milk and dairy products uh, aggravates the acne breakouts or it's just a myth? It's kind of myth for most of the patients. Uh, dairy products are generally nahi hota hai. Some people, of course, yes, hota hai. It is not just the dairy products, it's basically high calorie foods which give you. So many times you see people going to gym and they want to do bodybuilding, they take proteins and all these things. So that, that is healthy diet, but lots of calories. So that also induces acne. Uh, cakes, chocolates, pastries, pizza, cheese, pizza, and sub kuch, every good thing you have added. It is not just the dairy thing, it is the amount of calories which you intake. At a time, if you take intake a lot of them, and then you can get, uh, get more acne. So that is also subjective. Kuch logo ko hota hai, kuch logo ko nahi hota hai. Over a period of time, the uh, uh, person himself realizes ki bhai haan, isko hota hai, isko nahi hota hai. But mostly, uh, there is no restriction about that. And uh, even if you get a little bit of acne because of dairy products, especially in vegetarian people, I will still advise to use your dairy products because otherwise you have calcium, vitamin D or you will not get anything which is anyways deficient in the rest of your diet. 
सो देर इज नो नीड टू अवॉइड डेरी प्रोडक्ट इफ एट ऑल यू वेरी स्ट्रॉन्गली फील की भाई हाँ मुझे इससे होता है यू हैव इट डेली फॉर थ्री डेज एंड यू कम टू नो कि भाई इससे हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है मोस्टली इट इज नॉट द केस इन मोस्ट ऑफ द पेशेंट इट इज नॉट देर बट हाँ हाई कैलोरी फूड स्कैनिंग कॉज योर एक्ने टू बी देर सो बेसिकली फूड मत खाओ घर का खाओ that's the bottom line <laughs> okay doctor let's uh, take some of our viewers question we have prem singh vigas asking is a new skin care routine necessary when working from home uh working from home is uh, yes of course you need a little bit of different uh, uh skin care routine now we uh, for uh, working for home you have screens in front of you for a very long time and many a times you are just in the ac uh, all the time तो सुबह से रात तक वहीं पर रहते हो तो ए सी ड्राइज यूर स्किन सो यू नीड अ मॉइस्चराइजर सेकेंड थिंग इट हैज ब्लू रेस सो यू हैव टू सनस्क्रीन विच हैज ब्लू 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 लाइक प्रोटेक्शन इन इट सो दैट इज द बेसिक थिंग एंड सिंस यू आर गोइंग टू बी यूजिंग द स्क्रीन फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू नाइन तो एक बार सुबह दोपहर को और शाम को भी लगाना है सनस्क्रीन uh even after sunset you have to apply the sunscreen because we are going to be in front of sun uh, the screen for a very long time right so work from home kar rahe hain to ye nahi sochna hai ki sunscreen nahi lagana hai oh. right uh we also have ishita jha asking i'm having jawline acne since one year please help me to get rid of them any easy and beneficial remedy or affordable treatment so jawline acne is generally typical of hormonal issues uh, in females so mostly adult acne post delivery ya fir post pcos cases used or near uh, your uh, menopause you start getting uh, acne along the jawline so jawline just upar niche jo hai yahan pe acne aate hain that generally is indicative of hormonal disturbances in females so that is something very difficult to clear unless and until you clear the so आपका हार्मोन्स कंट्रोल में करना है तो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू मीट एन एंडोक्राइनोलॉजिस्ट और गायनेक एंड गेट दोस थिंग अंडर कंट्रोल बाकी जो एक्ने का ट्रीटमेंट इट इज ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर टू द टीनेज एक्ने द प्रोडक्ट्स यूज आर सेम बट यू हैव टू यूज इट अ बिट लॉन्गर टाइम बिकॉज़ द कॉज है एक्ने ट्रिगर का दैट इज दैट नीड्स प्रॉपर ट्रीटमेंट फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड many a times these uh, these kind of uh, acne are uh, along with you get a hirsutism that is extra hair growth so around uh, upper lips uh, jaw line pe ya fir uh, side locks mein thoda hair growth extra ho jata hai so you have to treat that also uh, and wo uh, saath mein treatment karenge to wo hoga but actually that is uh, a more difficult case so has to be uh, properly taken to wo ghar baith ke sirf nahi ho jayega you have to Uh, comments show and properly to get it treated for uh, and have to take it for a long time. This is three four months. So, at least you have to take it for a long time. And then afterwards maintain it, and it can always elapse if the uh, hormonal issues are recurring again and again. Okay. Uh, Akash Singh is here asking: Is a high S uh, is high SPF better than a low SPF? Uh, high SPF will provide you a bit more protection for uh, it is see 30 SPF is enough for indoor people uh, okay. if you are a field worker जो ज़्यादा बाहर घूमता है most of the times is outside तो generally uh, 50 SPF or above is what we prescribe uh, so that will give you a bit stronger protection but more than that it is the frequency of more than the spf uh, it is the frequency of the application which is more important so if you are going out in the field morning mein lagao afternoon mein fir se lagao that is more important because then over a period of time even spf 55 50 60 jo bhi rahega aapka uska asar jo hai dheere 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 kam hone wala it will give you 8 hours protection but it will not be full spf 50 protection for full 8 hours it will over a period of time go down especially if you are sweating Or if you have washed your face, or you have applied something, you have worn a mask and removed it, and things like that. So higher SPF is good, but sometimes higher SPF uh, sunscreens cause more uh, blockage of acne uh, and cause more acne. The higher SPF with for acne prone skin also has come. So if you use that specific one, then it is fine. Okay, we'll take uh, Parinita Banerjee's question. She is uh, saying. my mother has red marks uh, 
red marks function. It's all over her body and it is red in color. She even got a little bit on her face and she also has some digestion issues as well. So, uh, it may or may not be acne. Since adult hair, so it might be something else also, but can be acne. So I cannot say anything without seeing the patient. Uh, we would like to uh, suggest her to go and consult a dermatologist right after. Okay. And uh, Akriti Singh is saying, uh, since I lead a very busy life, I need to keep my routine, my skincare routine very simple. What are the absolute basics? So uh, uh, what I told were the absolute basics. Face wash, to wale use ho. To tabhi face wash right. ho And after that, you apply a sunscreen, which is meant for if you have acne prone skin, to wo acne prone skin wala. Sunscreen laga do. That is absolute. Oh, okay. Abhi subo vaske sham ko jab whenever at night you come at home, that time you wash your face and uh, if you have any makeup on, you have to remove that immediately. Don't keep it for uh, till the time you sleep. So uh, you wash it off immediately and uh, then you apply a moisturizer if you if you have a uh, dry skin. If you have a or acne prone skin, to acne ke liye jo bhi product diya hai, apko bola na. So that is done. And at the time of sleep, depending upon your age, you have to apply the things. So teenage to usko pigmentation cream lagana. If you are middle aged lower uh, older age, then you apply an anti-aging serum or a cream or a gel at night. So that is the basic thing. Five five minutes like the hurry time And uh, it, if you just incorporate it in your lifestyle, uh, it will take care of your skin for in most of the people, it, that will be enough. Okay, so I'm sure you have your answer, Akrati. So uh, your skincare routine is very basic. You need to just follow it regularly. Uh, now, uh, doctor, one more thing, you know. Nowadays, the market is flooded with products. Uh, there are influencers or, you know, videos uh, promoting products, various kinds of products. We are more uh, exposed to this, you know, market gimmick. We end up buying so many products for ourselves or on some products we use our skin to use our skin. So uh, how good or bad we uh, So some of these are good. The, some of those products are good. But uh, most of these promotions which are there, they are, they are of course going to be a paid pro uh, promotions. So whoever is speaking, whoever celebrity is speaking, uh, they themselves might not be just using that thing. And uh, uh, there's, it's definitely not the product which has kept their skin good because these products mostly did not exist when they were uh, of a younger age. So uh, that is there. So don't just believe whatever somebody is promoting. Uh, if you don't have any issues with your skin, if your skin is otherwise all fine, you can use these products and generally they don't give you any problems. But uh, ideally something uh, which is from, a, if you are using the cosmetics, uh, you use something from which is a, from a good known brand, buy it from their own shop, not from the online thing, because lots of fakes are there right now in the market, especially of the uh, bigger brands like Let Me and Matt. So uh, you buy, buy from their, their own uh, shops. So that is one thing. But if you have a skin issue like a pigmentation and acne, or a dry skin or excessively oily skin, then you can go and just ask the doctor that even without any issues, you can go just consult for a normal skin routine and you will get set and you will end up saving money, not buying the very expensive things. So uh, these uh, cosmeceuticals are mostly fine for a normal skin, which does not have any issues, uh, but just you don't have to be over aggressive in, in uh, buying that and just don't believe uh, if, if uh, it is getting promoted very uh, strongly, if it is getting promoted very strongly, then sometimes, in fact, I get I get a question mark. Itna jada So mm -hmm. isme, there is some catch involved in that. So uh, right. so th that is always the case because there is no one uh, solution for all. Each each uh, person has a specific type of skin, specific products which suits them. So it has to be individualized individualized to that person so uh, that's that's the way it is but uh, for a normal skin generally these products don't cause harms i would suggest that don't keep on buying everything at a time take it for that product try karo then you will come to know which is suiting you and which is not suiting and once you get set with that product 
to continue with that product for at least three, four months. And if you are using it for say, for glow or for anti-aging or anything, you have to keep on changing the creams over a period of time because whatever efficacy uh, of that product is, whatever the benefit that product was going to give, that gets, uh, that you get in few months. Then keep on, if you keep on using that, you will not get the same result over a period of long time. So you have to switch that thing. But basic your face washes, sunscreen, and moisturizer, that thing you can keep same for a very long time. Fair enough. And uh, Dr. Hardik Dave, before we, uh, you know, wind up this whole session, any takeaway note for our viewers? Uh, take away, just uh, take care of your acne. With a dermatologist, don't try to take care of it on your own. Uh, if you are concerned about your skin, then meet a proper expert and uh, get it treated. If you don't, if you're not concerned, well, there is no need. That was very short and sweet. So uh, in case you're concerned about your skin, then please go and consult an expert, a dermatologist, a qualified dermatologist in this case. Thank you so very much, uh, Dr. Hardik Dave, for your valuable time. It has been a very informative session. It was really great to hear you. Thank you so very much once again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And viewers, thank you for your active participation in today's session. Stay connected to our beautiful spotless skin page. Goodbye. Have a great day ahead.